hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we have an exciting tutorial for you we will guide you how to download rainfall data for hourly daily monthly and yearly intervals from the chrs data portal and the best part is it's completely free also we will show you how to create an average annual rainfall map using a 10 year data set for example in arcgis so let's get started so first go to google search box and then write chrs data portal and after that uh, you will uh, get this window chrs portal and here is our portal interface and you will uh, see here several options yeah total of five options so we will select the second one persian ccs uh, you will find the details here data period coverage uh, resolution and also references yep after selecting this one uh, go to data set and here you will find you will you have you have to select persian ccs and time step so uh, i will download for yearly data you can also download hourly uh, monthly um, yearly as well so for domain uh, here you can see here several domain uh, country political division major river watershed location user shape file you can also download this data using uh, s3 shape file so i will select uh, a specific location you can also select uh, country voice uh, data if you want to download for uh, your country data then you can it can uh, select that country yep so for bangladesh uh, i will select political division i mean for specific locations i need the data for this location so uh, i'm selecting this location and after selecting your area you will find here download option select data time i will download uh, 10 years data so from uh, 12 to 21 and format you will find three file format uh, i'm selecting tiff and compression data uh, zip file then click download and uh, you have to uh, write your email address here and then uh, click download and click here you can download directly from this link go to the download it folder and then i will uh, cut this uh, downloaded data and uh, will paste in my uh, uh, user folder I'll create a folder name, a create a folder rainfall. I will store the data here. After that, I extract all data. Extract here is all data that I have downloaded. And now uh, open ArcMap. and then go to catalog and uh, go to the folder where you have stored your data you can see my data the total 10 data including shape file my study area shape file it has been downloaded automatically when you select your desired location total 10 year data here so i will uh yep i will add on by one Twelve, then 13 
14 15 then 16 17 18 19 and 20 and 21 so i will check also you can uh, download or you can uh, add base map here i'm selecting topographic anyway you can uh, select color ramp you can choose color ramp from here any color ramp you can also add google map if you have already added google or google in your arc map anyway um, i will check uh, the source i mean uh, spatial reference so it is undefined you can see here so we will uh, define the projection system so for that go to our toolbox and then data management tools and uh, then go to uh, projections and transformation so here you will find define projection and just input a data set that uh, you will you want to uh, change the projection i will change coordinate system uh, into geographic coordinate system world then wgs 1984 then click ok it has been uh, defined in uh, wgs 1984 you can see here from layer properties and uh, one by one uh, you can uh, change the projection uh, using the same uh, process for 13 coordinate system dcs 1984 and then click ok so similarly you can do for all uh, our raster file yeah you can check yes special reference wgs 1984 that I have been changed yep after that uh, go to arc toolbox and then uh, go to a special analyze tools and then map algebra just first bracket and then add all the data set one by one plus yep I will perform this uh, because I want to uh, get average data for 10 years 10 years average data for my location so divided by 10 and then ok yes here is our uh, average uh, annual rainfall data for my location 10 years average rainfall data yes you can rename it i'm going to rename it average rainfall you can now create a map layout i believe you have found these steps quite easy to follow and i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video until then take care and stay healthy